This video is an exploration of the topic, word problem involving the maximum or minimum of a function. In this topic, we will be given a quadratic function that represents a real-life situation. We will need to find the maximum or minimum value of the function in order to solve the problem. Let's begin with an example. A ball is thrown vertically upward. After t seconds, its height, h, in feet, is given by the function h of t equals 40t minus 16t squared. After how long will it reach its maximum height, and what is the height that the ball reaches at the highest point of its path? Do not round your answers. We can tell that the function h of t represents a parabola that opens downward since the coefficient of the quadratic term is negative. Therefore, we know that the parabola's vertex is going to be the highest point on the parabola. The question asks for two responses, the time it takes for the ball to reach its maximum height and the height that the ball reaches at the highest point of its path. You may recall from your study of previous topics that the maximum or minimum value of a quadratic function and the value of x, in this case the value of t, at that maximum or minimum value can be found by finding the vertex of the parabola. So let's get started. First, we will graph this parabola. Then, we will write the function in standard form so that we can more easily work with it. In other words, rewrite the function in decreasing order of exponents. Do you know what the standard form of this function would be? Looking at the exponents, I believe the standard form will be h of t equals negative 16t squared plus 40t. That's correct. Now we will compare the general form of a quadratic function with our function h equals negative 16t squared plus 40t. What are the a, b, and c coefficients in our problem? Following the general form for the function listed, a would be negative 16, b would be 40, and c would be 0. Exactly. Let's substitute these numbers into the formula that tells us the value of x, in our case t, at the vertex. Substituting negative 16 in for a and 40 in for b, we write t equals negative 40 over 2 times negative 16, which simplifies to t equals 1.25. Now we know that the value of t at the vertex is 1.25. Because t represents time in seconds, we know that after 1.25 seconds, the ball reaches its maximum height. Now, let's find the maximum height that the ball reaches. We will use the time, 1.25 seconds, that it takes for the ball to reach its maximum height to find the maximum height. Let's see how to do this. We must substitute the t value, 1.25, into the original equation and solve for h. Can you walk me through these steps? Sure! If we substitute t equals 1.25 into this equation, we will get h of 1.25 equals negative 16 times 1.25 squared plus 40 times 1.25. This simplifies to negative 25 plus 50. We write h of 1.25 equals 25. You are right. Now we know that the vertex of our parabola is the point 1.2525. So the ball reaches its maximum height of 25 feet at 1.25 seconds after the ball is thrown in the air. Great work.